Hey, so you are about to engage in a process that I can say with a fair amount of certainty you've never done before. So guys, I'm going to invite you to join me. I know that you have tests in front of you. Um, I know that for some of you, this was a good experience when you flipped that test over and saw the score. For others of you, you flipped that paper over and you started thinking to yourself, what does this mean? Um, and so guys, you will never be left sort of out there floating in the ether wondering what your test scores mean. So let me show you what we're gonna do with these. Because what I need you to do is please grab your tests and then grab this sheet. Um, the one that says analysis page, unit one essential standards, which is also the page that's up on the wall. Now guys, I'm gonna step you through this very, very carefully today. Grab something you can write with. And guys, understand what we are about to do with your test is going to turn into a homework assignment for tonight. So guys, across that analysis page, please write homework, because guys, this is an assignment. And now let's talk. So guys, when you flip your paper over, I would suggest to you that you have been well trained, that when you flip that paper over, your eyes start scanning furiously. And what are you looking for? Your score. And guys, I would propose to you, you're not just looking at the whole score, you're looking at the first number. And guys, what if that first number is a nine? What does that tell you? Hey, hooray for me. What if that first number is a three or a four? And some of them were. And you start going, ooh. And you have all of this mental talk about, I'm not smart, I'm no good, I'm not good at testing, which is a whole nother thing to talk about. I gotta drop the class, this is never gonna be okay, my life is over, I'll never get into BYU, whatever's going on in your head. But then guys, some of you are in no man's land. That score was a seven or an eight. And you're going, what does that mean? Am I okay? Can I still get an A in this class? Am I in trouble? What does all of this mean? Well guys, let me explain to you how to interpret these numbers. So guys, looking at the wall, which is also the paper that you have in front of you. Guys, <laughs> this, is, this is detailed, follow carefully. So guys, on every test that you do in this class, you are going to find out that some of the material on the test is good to know, and some of the material on the test is critical that you know. And guys, what we will do for you is we will always indicate for you the critical material. So guys, read over the list with me, and let's make sure this makes sense. So guys, there was a lot of material on this test, but five of the things on the test are what we call essential. And what that means is if you don't understand these five things, you are not ready to continue into late September and October or the rest of the year. You have a handicap that we are going to help you address. But guys, if you understand these five things, regardless of what you got on the test, you're okay and you can move forward with confidence. So, with that said, guys, read over the five things. Identifying significant digits, no surprise, right? We're gonna do that for the rest of the year. Number two, using significant digits in calculations. Makes sense. Number three, making estimates and measurements. What do you do with the balance? What do you do with the graduated cylinder? Number four, calculating mass by difference. We've highlighted that greatly. And then finally, calculating percent error. Guys, those are the five things that you have to be able to do. So now the question becomes this, how do you know if you can do them? And guys, the answer is this, Check these questions, and this is where you need a pen or pencil. Let's do this together. So guys, standard number one, significant digits. Go to your bubble sheet and look at 47 through 55. Just go to your bubble sheet, not the test, just the bubble sheet. And guys, look at questions 47 through 55. That is nine questions. Guys, on 47 through 55, count the number you got right. Not wrong, if there's a red mark there with the right answer, that's wrong. 
count the number you got right, and write that number down where it says number earned. So guys, how many did you get right out of nine? Uh -huh. That means it's wrong, and it's telling you the right answer. So guys, right here, you are going to write down the number that you got right. Now guys, here's what you do next. Compare the number that you got right to the mastery standard. So what we're saying is that this, you can say with certainty that you have mastered this subject and you're ready to move forward. If you got less than seven correct, you're not okay. So here's what you're then going to do. Based on the number that you put right here, do you have mastery? Circle yes or no. If you circled yes, you're ready to go. If you circled no, you need to do something about that, and we'll talk about what to do. Now, guys, this. If you did not achieve mastery, I want you to check a box over here. Did you think you knew it? Did you know you didn't know it? Or did you just make stupid mistakes? Guys, I know this is foreign to you. You've never had a teacher that has talked through test results in this great detail. And understand, it's just because I want you to be successful. So now, guys, we're going to do this with number two, applying significant digits in calculations. That's multiple choice 56 through 58. <coughs> Count the number that you got right. Write it on the line. Check the mastery standard. Just a second. Check the mastery standard. If you got two or three correct, Yes, you've demonstrated mastery. If you got one correct, you found something that you need to work on. Then guys, circle mastery, yes or no. If you circled no, check one of the boxes on the right that helps you understand why you haven't achieved mastery. Go ahead. Yep. I, I want to just sit. Sit and join me. I want to answer that, but not right now because this I'm not trying to teach material. I'm trying to teach how to analyze. But I would like to answer that for you. So guys, from here, you continue on. So guys, now we're going to go down to estimating and measurements. That is the data chart on your lab. So turn back to your lab and look at the data chart. You wrote down three pieces of data. You needed an appropriate number and you needed units. That was out of six. Write down the numbers that you got right on the data chart in your lab. And if that number is five or better, five or six, you're good. If it's zero to four, you found a gap in your understanding. You have not demonstrated mastery and figure out why. Then guys, or I'm calculating mass by difference. Same process. It's out of five points. How many did you get? If you got four or five, you're okay. If you didn't, um, you haven't demonstrated mastery, yes or no. If it's no, figure out why. And then finally, in the bottom part, guys, look at your percent error calculation. It's a yes or no, or it's, a, it's out of five. Your score, if you got four or five, you're good. If you didn't, you've identified something you need to work on. So guys, I don't want to answer questions about content, but I would love to answer questions about test analysis because we have only just begun. You guys okay? Okay. So now, guys, allow your eye to scan down the left-hand side of your page. If you circled all yeses, guys, you're good to go. You can move forward knowing that you understand the material that you need to understand. Now guys, if you have any no's circled, those are things that you need to figure out in order to move on. So guys, how do we do this? Well guys, look at the bottom of the page. I understand that while it is important for you guys to learn material, realistically, we also need to be sensitive to grades. So guys, this is the deal. 
flip to the front of your test and look at your score. That score is either less than 75, between 75 and, 7 and 85, or above 85. Now guys, there's one thing that's not represented on this paper. If your score is less than 75%, but you have all yeses, think about that. If you have all yeses, you mastered the essentials. But if you have a score less than 75, it means you missed the unimportant stuff. Guys, if that's the case for you, come and talk with me and I'll raise your grade to 75 right now. Okay, but that doesn't happen often. So now let's talk about options. So guys, you are now in one of these three categories. Please circle that category. Circle the score group that you're in. Now guys, here come your options. If you scored less than seven, call full remediation. And guys, this is gonna sound overwhelming, but check this out. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go home and watch a video that only teaches the essentials. Then you're gonna do a homework assignment, check your answers, then come in during Pride, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and get all your questions answered. During one of those Pride sessions, you will receive another assignment that you will complete, check your answers. Once you've got all that figured out, you'll come in Thursday and take a replacement test that only covers the essentials. Guys, when you get better than 80% on that replacement test, I will raise your grade on the test to a 75%, no matter what you got. So you could get a 15% on the test the first time, and I will raise your grade to a 75% when you show me you know the essentials. Now guys, here's the deal. If you get 75% on all your tests, and if your lab work is good, you'll get a B in this class. So guys, in theory, the lowest grade in this class you can possibly get is a B so long as you're doing your lab work. Because everybody should have better than a 75% test average because anybody that's lower can remediate. So there should not be a test score in my grade book lower than 75. Now, what if you got between 75 and 85? Guys, we're going to give you some freedom on this. You are still welcome to engage in whatever part of the remediation program that you want, but you can come and take the replacement test. Now guys, if you take the replacement test and get better than 80%, the problem is, is you've already got better than 75%. So I can't raise your grade to 75% because you're already there. So what I will do is this, I'll give you extra credit. So guys, if you got better than 75% and you remediate and get 80 on the test, I'll give you seven points of extra credit. Now, what if you're between 80, what if you're above 85? Well guys, you did great on the test. Those are solid scores, but there may still be things that you don't understand, and we're going to leave the remediation process up to you. Maybe it's just you need to ask a quick question, but guys, if you have any no's and you got better than 85, make sure you get that sorted out. So guys, any questions about any of this? You good? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Good. You guys okay? Guys, this is, this is your homework. Ready? It does not matter what score you got on this test. This is a homework assignment that you have to have done by next Tuesday. And it's the answer to your question. Guys, what you have to do is this. All of you are going to go out to our website and you're gonna to go to the day of the test and right here it says Canvas Remediation. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this link and it takes you out to the district's Canvas site, you will log in as a student. I'm gonna log in as a teacher. So guys, we log in as a student, or you'll log in as a student, and you'll come to this, and it will show you my chemistry class. You click on that, and then you'll see this, and I'm gonna switch over to student view so it looks like what you're gonna see. Guys, all of you are going to do this. You're gonna click on Complete the Introduction Survey, you click here, and then you can read this. It says, this survey contains a list of essential standards. To be prepared to move on, you need to have mastery based on the analysis page that you just completed. Identify the essentials that you need help on. So you're going to click on Take the Survey. And guys, you'll notice that all of the things in this survey are the essentials that we just went over. 
So all of the essentials that you clicked no for, you will then click on, or that you circled no for, you'll click here. If you had all yeses, you'll just click here. And then guys, you go down here in the corner and you go submit. Now, if from there you do want to go on to remediation, then guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on next. It's right here in the corner and you click on next and guys, all you have to do is follow the directions. Watch this video when complete, mark done in the upper right hand corner, then click next to go on. So here's the video, then you mark done, then you click on next and then you come to the place where you get the assignment and you download the assignment and you do the assignment and you just keep following directions, guys. And as you go through this, it will lead you through the remediation process. Now, guys, understand, this is completely optional. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It's totally fine if you don't. I think it's crazy if you don't. But if you don't care, I'm not going to push you. But guys, understand from doing this for three, well, this is our third year now, guys, this works. Every year at the end of the year, I have students that come back and they go, thank you for investing the time in doing this. So guys, I, I, if you have questions as you get into this, let me know. But understand you're all going to do the, the survey and that needs to be done by the time I see you next time on Tuesday. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, so I, and this is why we actually, and this is, so I should tell you, guys, we've never done this on Canvas before. Before it was just a page of links on a website. We're doing this now on Canvas because it forces you to do it step by step. But the other thing it does is it lets us collect data. So after you guys have all submitted that survey, we can look and go out of 32 students, how many students didn't achieve mastery and then how many did remediation. So this is important information for us. So you guys are all gonna fill out the survey and it will go in the grade book as just a full credit assignment once you fill it in and that has to be done by Tuesday. So guys, other questions? You guys all good? We're okay? All right, so guys, let me stop recording. I did just record everything that we just talked about so that if you need a refresher on how to do this, it's all on the website.